make that much money on everything. But we were at one auction and I paid two dollars for something. And we sold it for over two hundred. Yeah. Well, he goes yeah. just like, to garage sales. That's all they do. Yeah. They garage sale like two or three days a week, and then they internet the weekend. They and they they ship it and do all that stuff. He says he makes more money than when he was working. It doesn't say happy birthday, yeah, Ron. Yeah, it's tax free money, too. Yeah. One, one time we went to Milwaukee, Carol wants to go there to the Goodwills and stuff. Mm -hmm. Get it back to South and Goodwill and Elevin. They're kind of goofy. There's a Goodwill yeah, and Elevin. Yeah. 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 It's right off the interstate. You can like, see it. We, we, we got in there like at 8.30. Mm -hmm. They closed at 9. You go check out. I'm going to eat you They come from Walmart? Yeah. yeah. It didn't give nothing in it, so I had her put his name on it, but they got turned sideways. You can't see the cars hurt. You know what you should do is we'd buy them like that and then just get that. You should go to the James That uh, frosting and put it in the tool. That's what she did. Probably in the way you don't want to write back. Yeah, it's not zoomed in. You got it on before it gets Yeah, it's not zoomed in. Yeah, it's not zoomed in. If you really watch it, uh -huh. put it right over there. Big, uh, big blood those I've got all, all my new yard art and everything right over my there. yard. My, um no, it won't. It, it, it'll take the whole room. Got a lot. To the Janesville Goodwill? Yeah, there's also a, uh, a Grace I have to hand this to Sony. Sony makes so much cool things. It's right in front of Target. Oh. It's right by Target. It's in the same There's that and there's... No, you got to put them there backwards. Salvation Army. Yeah, yeah, there's nice there's only five. It's usually real No, cut it out. Oh, <laughs> I'm charging a lot for that now. Yeah. Well, I we found, though, that we've gone on Monday Look before. That. The best day to cake. go there is either yeah. Wednesday or Thursday. <coughs> Still eating dead The store's a little uh -huh. slower on those days, so they can actually put more stuff out because they only have about like 10 employees. So if the store is extremely busy, I they can't don't have time to bring bread. stuff out. Ah, I like out. that bread. But no, you know, I taste good. Always buy a lot of stuff butter and peanut taste. butter on it. Mm -hmm. We used really to. Good. We have to sing. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Kyle. Happy birthday to you. I'll get that. Good job, Kyle. Teenager anymore. Nope. You tell happy birthday to you. You're, You're over the hill now, side. Kyle. You happy birthday to you. You belong in the <laughs> zoo with penis and popcorn and orangutan too. Oh, he's been watching. <laughs> he's been watching too much uh, Madagascar. Oh, I thought maybe he's watching that <laughs> SpongeBob. SpongeBob. SpongeBob SquarePants. Lucky supper. Phil said it's pink. He, he names his own. It's, it's pink. It's pink. You got pink on your shirt. That's because this is a PlayStation shirt. That's the bunch of it. I know. It's got pink on it. That's what she tried to match. All different colors. Look at that. All them colors on your shirt. They're in the same thing. They sure are. Everyone. Blue, green, red, pink. They were like sporty. You know what happened to people plus the triangle? Oh, I got my my uh, disco ball. Mommy, you know what happened to people plus triangle? Oh, I do. You get a call. Yeah, it looks Ooh, awesome. It's hanging on my shelf. Plus squirrel. I actually bought then my uh, chandelier yeah, that I had no, Frank yeah, move me for the second down here. He scuffed it all up and painted it. But you know, I looked at Habitat for Humanity and looked at all the stuff they wanted, like $25 to $40 for an old chandelier. Oh, yeah. It's like, I am not paying that. Some, some of their stuff's getting out of hand, too, yeah. price-wise. Uh -huh. So I ended up, I, I looked for about two years, and I finally wasn't even really looking for anything in particular, and I found it at the Goodwill up here on our second. And I had Frank take all the wiring out of it because I didn't want any electricity. He scuffed it all up and paid it. I found it. And then he, I bought the solar lights at Menards, and he hot glued all those, and he took all the electric out of it, and it looks just beautiful. Did I ever show you a picture of it? Time for cake. So. Nice. Yeah, cobalt blue. Turned out really nice. And at nighttime, it's right. Cobalt blue. Yep. I painted with automotive paint. Really? Mixed it up and sprayed it. It really, really looks nice. I mean, so it's oh, yeah. really pretty shiny. It's very shiny. It's beautiful. Yeah. I got the silverware down. There's no forks in there. Frank, I got to send you home with you. Oh, gosh. Yeah. I hit. I called the police.
please? I said, where are my forks at? Now I know who stole them. Oh, wow, that is cool. And I have it hanging on a shepherd's hook. So up on my glider. Bad, yeah, I've got it on a chain uh, hanging next Sorry, to my glider in my backyard. Why? why? Just on a it's a little on little 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 Yeah, it does. No it's way. kind of an iridescent. It's cobalt blue is what it is. Yeah. 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 They ought to make edible candles. And then the, uh, the lights I got at Menards yeah. for $1.00 each goes solar light. So if I want to replace them, it's something you can buy anywhere. And they're only a dollar. Probably a couple of years. Right, right. So he just he glued hot glued those and you have to cut the bottom of the post off and they're just solar lights anyway so the sun. Mm -hmm. um, so that way. And you know they never sent me my money from Home Depot either. I know I was thinking about yeah. that last yeah. week. Stick I've got the, the address right there. I you took just it let me know and I'll go back in there yeah. at the and I'll demand your money. Yeah, I'll next year, next year. So there's not gonna be no cake. Um, they did donuts. some kind of price matching. <laughs> With uh, the VA and through Menards, when you got to get them nothing but cakes for the yard. That's what and you got to get. We yep. There's another Called nothing there. but cakes. Um, they were supposed nothing to bunch. give us an additional right. whatever percent off, oh, and they were going to send it to us in a Home Depot gift card, or whatever. Well, I I had the. Um, the fence done in April and they've never sent well, me my money the and I told Fred, I took a picture of the address and mailed the thing too and they never heard no more about it and so oh Frank went in there the other day and they were supposed to do something and then well they they had it uh, Frank, I just want one third of that like give the other two thirds to Bonnie bucks, so yeah, uh, that doesn't sound here, like much money but here's your cake it's a matter of principle yeah. and then I'll have a just a bite of that when you get done and I don't want any other frosting part. okay You buy a lot of stuff at Menards with a 11 percent rebate. Yes. I try to, but the Menards is is just so going down the friend? tubes I, since they switched over. Thank you. you know what bothers, you, you know what bothers me a lot of me? Thank you. Pork. Not having you rice. Okay. You can't, you can't get one to well, Menards to buy. I always get stuck behind some dope doing their weekly grocery shopping. Oh, <laughs> you, you go in there to get a couple of copper fittings or something to finish a. a Plumbing mm. project. Okay. And you got some dope in front of you with a shopping cart full of fruit loaves. <laughs> well, even the people that work in in the doing, huh? contractors department are uh, they they don't know anything. One one things? person knows something, and then you, yeah. none of the rest of them. Yeah. Get one for you. I went in there and tried to buy Cheers. some five right and an eighth jams. I mean, I I got, the one girl didn't know what a jam was. Are you kidding? And she worked behind the desk at the contractors. And <laughs> people were like, what? And she was wearing pajamas? Door jam. Door jam. Oh. <laughs> Mike, did you get a I mean, if you work in that department, you ought to at least know what the hell you got. Okay. What I don't like about Menard is you go into one door. Thank you anyway. You got to go all the way to hell down the other door to check out, come out. Then, then you got to walk all the way back and park the car up here. I just tell them, they know me, I come right through that door, I park right there, and walk in, check right They wouldn't check me out. I said, lots of times they won't. But if they know you, they will. You want me to move? No, huh? Well, they ought to have, you know, like Walmart, where somebody protests about Walmart. Why in the hell they have all them cash registers and nobody use them? You ever go to Walmart late at night now? Uh, no, I haven't been at Walmart. You go to Boyd Walmart late at night, you got to check yourself out. There ain't nobody else there. No one. So people there. Oh, that's what Myers does. You got to check yourself. They got one checker at Myers. So they don't want you. They don't want to wait on you. Is that what you're saying? They want you to do it yourself. They want yep. you to do it yourself. Oh, I see. I said they, you they have that one person that's watching what you're doing, but they're not checking you out. I said you're you're eliminating people's jobs. They go, no, we're not. I go, how come there ain't no people here then? We were there until we were there at 12 a.m. in the morning. I told them I buy something. I want you to check me out. Mm -hmm. That's the way it is. You know, it's amazing to me. I, I, they've got me scheduled two days a week now on the fast lanes again. Uh, mm -hmm. no, no and if I work on the fast lanes on the front end where there's ten lanes there, and my five-hour shift that I work up there, I get over a thousand transactions mm. just from the people doing it themselves. That's amazing to me. In ten lanes, that in five hours' time, I have over a thousand. Uh, customers come through there besides all the ones that go to the regular lanes. Well, that's because so, uh, Schnucks closed two stores. Well, to me, that's amazing. Like it, Over you know, a thousand. I mean, that's a lot. I think you get like a, that's a lot. Something for that. Uh, oh God, no. 
They used to make the people pay for it if the people left without paying. Probably found out that was illegal. Yeah, they got in a lot of trouble for doing that. So now they've taken the how many the, girls the have paid that? A lot of money, people have paid that over paid the it. years, where they intimidate you and say, if you don't pay that, you know, you're going to get written up or this or that's going to happen. Well, then they found it's out that. Illegal. I told them that day one. Mm. So many rules at Woodman's are they not not legal oh, in this state. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> exactly right. Sorry, not even oh, and she would not believe it. You can't believe our arguments. That's why Walmart fired me and her. Yeah. No, this ain't this ain't legal. This. Oh yes, it is. That Phil said this. Phil said this. Somebody tell something at Walmart. You're not to apprehend them. I say shove a carton at her side and knock them on the floor. Mm -hmm. You know, as they're going out. I found that out with Chuck, remember? I go, Years ago, I had that Pantera, and I went through the car wash over there. They don't want you to danger Shell and a quarter of Riverside. They don't have a security guard. And Jack, they don't have Jack a gun. That's not going to do anything to have a security guard. And I went up there, there and I forgot to put the engine in. Yeah, same. He didn't know that. Yeah, guy, he, he said he went yeah, outside and, uh, and got the stuff didn't back. Didn't put my antenna down. It says right he on the sign the there. The the guy the you guy know, it doesn't so cover antenna. It doesn't cover lights on a jeep or you walk on top of anything that's added on. And and I went through and broke my antenna. It's a power antenna. You know, well, that one says, guy at Oakley's got, got killed. Just go ahead and the, the go meat back there and he says, it doesn't matter what they put on that sign. They can put too. anything on that sign they want, but to do business in the state of so Illinois, you, you have to go by state do, laws. Right it doesn't matter what you so think, what, be what you put up for signs, and if you knock somebody's antenna off, you're liable. They were Somebody liable. says the word Rob, shoot yep. them. They, and I would, I would have just blown it off, bought a new antenna, and your dad said, uh, no, just go back there. It doesn't matter what they, they, what they say and what they put up for a sign. Because you could put up a thousand signs, you know, and say, that's not covered if well, you're two inches off center or whatever. That, you, know? well, you, you see that with dump trucks, too. They'll have, like, a sign on the back, not responsible for broken windshields. Right, right, and yeah. You, you sure as hell, if you wanted to pursue it. Oh, gosh, you would get it. Yeah, yep. they just tell you that. Just, most people would get it. And, oh, geez, I didn't see the sign, blah, blah, blah. Okay, I'm liable. You know what people gets pay. me? When the snow plow hits your mailbox and they don't have to buy you a new mailbox. Oh, they do. They do. Oh, yeah. If you just I want to pursue that. it. Because mm -hmm. um, we got well this enough. one. Yeah. From the neighbor came to the mailbox. It comes, they come by plowing our street in the winter if there's any amount of snow. Sand and whatever the hell they put down flies all the way up to our here. front window. They go so damn fast spraying the really? stuff. Really? Wow. That's crazy. Now that they're not liable for, but if they knock your mailbox well, they, they come down liable. our street, Frank, with a, it's a... They put sand on the road, you mean? Yep. You know the big plows they use on highways? Yeah. That's what they come down our street with, the county does. Really? Yeah. And they tear up the road every year. they got to pass the road because they tear it up with that plow. Then they come around our block. I stopped. I said, why in the hell you got to come around the block four times and plow our snow? I said, once enough. Yeah. You don't need it to do it over once, you know. And then some this neighbor came coming out with a shovel to the snow plow. She was going to chase him down the street and club him with her. Wow. With her Good luck with that. Because he got <laughs> <laughs> you uh, find yourself she, in a snow bank. Yeah. 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 She had just shoveled the, the driveway. Wow. Oh, and he came good. by and just shoveled it right back in and oh, sort of chased them down the street. Well, well, where they supposed to do? Yeah, I know. I drive. I but just it was just funny to watch her. That's part I can't I get out of the truck. I'm whipping your ass. He said, I'm busy. I got to go home. I said, I'll catch up with you. Wow. So he must have got a hold of his boss.